I got some new fish. You guys know the jingle, but that's right. We got some new fish from Cichlid World Tank. Sent me some surprise fish. We're gonna unbox today. Let's go. Looks like it's packed very well. Got some Cichlid World Tank stickers. I like it. All right. Nice dry bag. This is what you always want to see when you get fish delivered to you. Dry bag, not a drip in sight. Check it out. Very, very good packaging. I like it. All right. Let's see what we got in here. First bag out the gate. Looking for the top of the bag. What do we got? He's alive. He looks well. Ooh, I see the colors. Very nice. OB peacock looking guy. All right, let's get the first guy floating in the quarantine tank. Get him temperature acclimated. See what else we got here. Bag number two. Ooh, I see some yellow. Ooh, he's pretty. Nice little yellow OB. Very nice colors on them. Looking bright eyed and bushy tailed. I like it. Let's float them. This is some great packaging. Not one of these bags are wet or leaking. I like it that way. Ooh, another yellow guy. He's got a really nice pattern on him. Some good looking yellow guys. I told my guy I didn't want any more blues. I have too much blues going on in my tank, so he's supplying me with some other colors to get that rainbow effect in the 210. Let's float this guy too. Last but not least, see what we got, number four. Oh, wow, look at that pink. That's pretty. I like it. It's like a pinkish rose color, I love it. And fish looks good too, not stressed out, swimming good. Love the color selection. Let's float up. So we're gonna float these guys for 15 to 20 minutes just to get them acclimated to the temperature of the quarantine tank. And then we're gonna go ahead and get them out of the bags. And we'll talk a little bit about why I'm quarantining these guys and why you should too. Okay, we got some floating time in. These guys are temperature acclimated. Now we're gonna go ahead and get them out of this bag water. The reason why you don't wanna use your bag water guys is because They've been in this water overnight during shipping. There's a lot of ammonia being released into that bag water and you don't want to put that ammonia into your quarantine tank. Here's the first guy, he is pretty. Let me show you. He is pretty. Wow, I love it. Right in the quarantine. He's a little dazed and confused. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys a good shot when I get them all in there. This is how I do it, guys. Instead of messing with these knots and these rubber bands, I just cut the bag halfway open with my handy dandy fish scissor dedicated to my fish tanks. And then I pour the water and the fish right into the net, which gets all that nasty bag water out of there. Here's OB number two. Check him out. Don't fall, buddy. Nope. He took a little fall, but he's all right. He's beautiful. I love the color scheme. Let's get him in. Oops. He's spunky. But he's in the tank. Number three. guy's a little bigger than the first two another beautiful pattern very nice looking Let's get him in the tank Blop. and last but not least number four you 
beautiful yellow. I already saw it. Hello there. Look at that color. Very nice. Not as spunky as the other guys. He's a little rested. Let's get him in. All right, they're in. Let me hook you guys up now. These are four absolute studs right here. Looking great and doing great right now in quarantine. Love their colors, love their patterns. Cichlid World Tank outdid himself. He told me he was gonna send me some studs and he did not lie. These guys look great. We're gonna keep them in quarantine for at least two weeks, guys. I say at least, cause that's usually how long I try to keep them in there, even though they should be in here for about a month at least, but I, I know myself. So I say two weeks to be realistic. But we're gonna go ahead and auto-medicate these guys. So I used to not auto-medicate guys, but now I do because I found a great combination of medication that works really well. If you missed my last medication video, go check it out right up there. It's gonna be super helpful for you. But I quarantine now and I medicate with the quarantine couple or what I like to call the QC. We're gonna go with Seachem Metroplex. Metroplex is gonna be great at taking care of any kind of internal worms, internal parasites, anything like that. Very safe medication for all fish. Very hard to overdose. And we're gonna go with Seachem Paraguard, which is gonna cover anything external. This is super broad. It's gonna cover parasites, bacterial, fungal, viral, anything external going on in your fish. Before it actually becomes a problem, right? You wanna dose with Seachem Paraguard. Because it's very mild, it doesn't have any actual antibiotics in it it's just an antiseptic to help prevent any diseases or secondary infections things like that so the combination of these two medications even though they're very mild works really well when you get brand new fish and quarantine them just to make sure they didn't come with anything and make them nice and clean before they go into your your monsters and believe me guys when i tell you i know some of you especially newcomers into the hobby don't believe in quarantine or don't think it's necessary or think Guys like us are just going overboard. When you get a fish that comes down with some kind of disease and you don't know what it is and it's all over his body and all of a sudden it starts to spread to other fish and then you start losing a fish or two a day and you're losing your mind and you don't know what it is, that's a terrible, terrible feeling. Nobody wants that. Nobody deserves that. None of your fish deserve that. So do yourself a favor. Just wait a while. Like these brand new fish that I just got, I'm planning to keep them long term. They're going long term into this 210 right here. So waiting two weeks or three weeks, whatever it is, just to make sure that they don't have any diseases, to make sure I'm keeping everybody else safe that's in there, it's totally worth it. So guys, quarantine your new fish. New guys are safely in quarantine. I want to give another big shout out to Cichlid World Tank for supplying me with these cool fish. If you want to see when quarantine time is over and they make it into the big 210 over there, watch that video right there. And I'll see you on the other side. Peace.